Hi folks, I decided to come out with a short video because I wanted to explain something that's really been bothering me lately. And I'll just get to it quick. Um, but before I say anything, I want to say that I've been discussing this with a friend of mine today, and he's probably going to discuss it too. But I really just thought that I had to put this out there because I really don't feel good like a lot of other people with the way that the chase ended. I don't necessarily care that we find out where precisely it was, or even that we get a solution. And as I said before, I mean, I know that I didn't solve it. So, I mean, I have nothing to be mad about. If somebody really did beat me to it, that's fine. Um, you know, I, I'm, I have no problem with that. But the way this ended, it's just, you know, at first I thought everything was okay, but now I'm really bothered, especially by that article that recently came out. I seen it on Dow's site. And somebody told me that Jenny uh, had also posted it. But basically, it was an article to somebody that calls himself the finder, quote unquote, who posted it on a website called median.com. Well, just reading that article, to me, I don't think that was written by any searcher. I think it was written by somebody professional. But not only that, it also seems to be written by a woman. Now, of course, it is possible, and I've heard that from other people, that the finder was, in fact, a woman. I don't know. But to be honest with you, the whole thing just seems really shaky to me. And at first, I wasn't bothered because I just figured, well, I have no idea why Dow's posting it there. How does he know that that's really the finder? I mean, any of us can go, 350,000 searches can go right now and claim that you were the finder and go and write the same kind of an article. Yeah, there were some pictures that we'd never seen, but hey, whatever. Those pictures were clearly taken at the same event when we got the pictures on June 16th. So anybody in that lawyer's office or whatever it was could have taken those pictures. In fact, it could have been Forrest himself using a timer. Who knows? We don't know. So I don't consider any of those pictures proof, but I still wrote it off. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Somebody's out there messing with us. That's not the finder. The whole thing is fake, okay? But then I went on Old Santa Fe Trading Co., which is the official site, which obviously not at Forest Fan has passed on. It's under control of his estate and his family. And I seen a word from the family, which was beautiful, okay? You know, we offer our heartful our heartfelt thanks to all of you for your thoughts and prayers during this difficult time. And it, it's really well said, and I'm glad they put that out there. Um, it kind of sort of gave us closure. I'm like, okay, that, that's fine. I could see the family doing that, you know. But then I scroll down a little bit, and I see that they wrote a lovely article written by the man who found the treasure. And, of course, they link directly to that article. and I. You know, I don't, I don't believe a word of this. I'm not even going to show it. You can go there yourself and read it um, if you want. I, I don't want to really give any time to that person because I think it's all a fraud. Um, and don't get me wrong. I think the chase was real. I think the chest was really hidden. But what I'm starting to believe now is I got this gut feeling that Forrest himself instead of causing a ruckus by calling off the chase somehow the chase was compromised i don't know if loose lips loose lips sank ships but i think forrest may have told a friend or two of his and maybe that person told somebody who then told somebody and things got compromised to the point where forrest went himself and had it retrieved because he didn't want somebody who didn't solve the poem to get the chest okay fine I can see, and I actually would commend him for that, and I can see why he would do that. But I think that this is overboard now that the family is actually mentioning it. Um, I don't know whether they're aware of this or not, but essentially, by writing this here, they are essentially admitting that the family or the heirs to the Fenn estate know the identity of the finder. Because if they didn't know the identity of the finder, how can they make this comment? a lovely article written by the man who found the treasure. The only way to make that comment is if you know who the finder is, because, folks, I can go out there right now, 
And matter of fact, from this point on, I could say, I am the finder. You could say, you are the finder. All of us could go out there and say that. And who could prove us wrong? Nobody could come up to you and say, oh, no, you're not the finder, because the only way they can prove that is if they know who the finder is. Now, I was under the impression that Forrest didn't really know the finder. And Forrest, when he passed away, took that finder's identity to the grave with him. But obviously, I was wrong, because this year proves, in my opinion, that the family knows who it is, because why else could they make such a comment? How do they know it wasn't fake? And again, I'm not going for this picture stuff, because for, for all we know, those pictures could have been from the same event, and Forrest could have emailed those to Dow when they did the first posting of the pictures on June 16th, and Dow still had them hanging around. You know, in fact, there's people speculating, and I'm going to show you something. It's kind of funny. Obviously, it's a fake. Um, whoever did it has poor Photoshop skills. But somebody sent me this, and I thought it was kind of funny. They put Doug Preston in there, and it says the finders. Photo by Dal and Cynthia. I don't even think they spelled their name right. But but anyway, you know, th this is the point here. You know, I mean, the, the whole thing is kind of like a, a joke and a slap in the face. And to me, I have a funny feeling that the next thing we're going to find out is that the chest is either sold or being sold, probably to a collector most likely to a museum, maybe to Cody Museum, I don't know. And that's essentially going to cement Forrest's legacy because the chess is going to be there for people to see from now on. At that point, they don't need this finder story anymore, so the finder's just going to disappear off into the sunset. We have no need to worry about him anymore. They're gone. They said they were going to be anonymous. Ha, ha, ha. You know, the chest is in, is in the museum now. His legacy is cemented. And there you go. So that's pretty much the ending. Um, you know, that's the gut feeling that I got. And, you know, it really hurts me because I put a lot of trust in DeForest over the six years I've been looking. I've told him a lot of things about myself. I've always stuck my neck out for him. I always went against people that said bad things about him because I honestly, even still today, believe that his heart was in the right place. I think something was compromised and it caused him to end it but i'm really really getting annoyed that i keep seeing this fake finder and dallas out there ha, ha, you know promoting it and apparently cynthia had something to do with locating the article the article seems to be written by a professional some think doug preston wrote it i don't know i'm not going to accuse doug and clearly Whoever made this photo, this, this is obviously some kind of a joke. Um, but I thought I could see people doing that because this is really just blowing me away. I, I think that if I were the attorney for the Fenn family, I would have told them to just zip your mouth, shut up, go out there, put this nice thing that you said about the searchers. That was due. Because I feel that Forrest should have done, well, not, not, not something like this, but while he was alive, he should have kind of let us down. He should have shown some respect for the community and did it in such a way that it wasn't just slapping a bunch of stories on Dow's website. Um, but it really, really bothers me when I seen this. I, I, I don't understand, you know, this finder, if there is one, is not doing anybody any favors. And I honestly believe that nobody knew who the finder was except for Forrest. Well, clearly that's wrong. Unless they're, they're lying, right out lying here, they're saying they know who the finder is. <clears throat> and to prop this guy on a pedestal who apparently only met Forrest once on a 20-second phone call back in 2018 you read that article, it sounds like somebody that spent their life with Forrest and knows everything about him. It sounds like a family member wrote it or a very close friend of his. I mean, it's, it's clearly either fake or it was put out there intentionally. You know, maybe Forrest even arranged for it to be put out there. I don't know. I don't know why he would have did that. And that's part of the things that, that make me kind of annoyed. I just never seen Forrest as somebody that would, that would screw over all of the people that were, you know, fans of his chase. 
I, I really, you know, to me, this is just like a virtual slap in the face that they're giving credit to some schmuck out there who doesn't want to reveal himself, doesn't mention anything about the poem. You know, in, in fact, I, I'm willing to believe that if there is a finder, they don't know the solution at all. As a matter of fact, I bet you that somebody, hell, it may have even been me, posted the solve, and now the person's embarrassed because they can't come out there and post the solve without looking like a complete idiot. And I have to admit that if my solve was correct, that was fully intentional to put that out there to make this guy look like an idiot. Because the whole intentions of creating these videos and posting on these forums was to build a team of people that would think and work together, okay? It wasn't meant for somebody to go and circumvent solving the poem and then using other solutions that they find from other searchers, whoever that be, you know, to do the work for them. And then they go out there and collect the reward. As a matter of fact, I thought that that's what happened because that's why Forrest seemed kind of annoyed with the finder. He really didn't congratulate the finder. Um, you know, he just seemed mad. But now here's the family essentially, you know, putting that guy up on a pedestal as if he did something great. I could go and write a story like that about Forrest. I mean, you know, it's just the whole thing is just like blow, blows me away. I mean, really now, you know, like Eric had said on It Is What It Is Productions, this guy really, I mean, it, He's going to sit under a tree and pretend that Forrest is laying next to him and they're staring up into the stars. Yeah, whatever, you know. Um, it, it, come on. I mean, we're not stupid. I mean, just, just, it's just totally ridiculous. I just, you know, and again, for somebody that only had a 20 second conversation and only met Forrest when he gave him the chest, this guy writes an article as if he knew his life story and all these happy buddies with him. And then Forrest says the finder wanted to remain anonymous, but yet this guy is saying that he wanted him to come and move to Santa Fe. Really? Really? So some new schmuck moves into Santa Fe and starts buddy-buddying up, going out to dinner with Forrest, and nobody's going to notice that this guy. I mean, where did this come from? Why is Dow promoting it? Why did Jenny promote it? Why is the family now promoting it here? I, I, I don't understand, folks. You know? Um, I hope that we get more information. I would eventually like to know the solve, but like I said, all right, maybe we'll never know. Maybe we'll never know the area, although I totally disagree with the fact that I want to protect the area. That, that's a bunch of nonsense. I mean, if it's where I think it was or pretty much anywhere, it's already got people there anyway. What are you protecting? A tree? You know, what are people going to go in the woods and tear the trees down? I mean, well, you know, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It really seems more like, okay, let's build this guy up because he announced in his letter that he's going to sell the chest. So let's try to get something rolling here to start the bids that are going to start going up when it's for sale. And then poof, once the chest gets sold, you never hear from the finder again. When they're questioned about it, they just turn around and say, well, I we don't know who the finder is and they want to be anonymous. Well, you know, good luck with that, because now that you wrote this, um, you've you've proven that that you know who the finder is. OK, and Dow has proven that somehow perhaps he knows who the finder is. I don't know. But honestly, unless they're going to come out and prove that this person is who he said he was. And I don't mean with those silly pictures from the same event. I can think of a lot of other ways that they could prove it. Maybe even a, lo a letter from an official letter from Forest Estate, because otherwise you're going to have all kinds of clowns out there posing as the finder. And as I said, legally, they're not doing anything wrong. Who are you to prove them wrong? How could you, you or anybody say that somebody is not the finder unless you know who the finder is? Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm probably not going to say anything anymore about this. I'm sorry I even had to put it out there. I normally don't do these kind of videos. But honestly, um, you know, I, I just feel really bad. I, I feel like I was taken for a ride. You know, I, I just, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But anyway, folks, let me know what you think.
peace. And some advice from me to you is don't get into any of these treasure hunts anymore, especially the ones that you see going on around there now that involve money. I think you're a fool if you get involved in those things. In my opinion, they're all scams. They're money-making scams, and there's no reason why you should have to pay money to somebody in order to do something. Just just don't do it, you know. Um, it's not going to get you anywhere, and you're just going to end up in the same place that you are now, perhaps wasting time. You know, if, one, if Forrest Fenn taught me one thing, it said everybody is put on this earth with the ability to make something of themselves, okay? When you look quickly down, you're going to see your own two feet. And everybody has the capability of using those two feet and those hands and your mind and your imagination to achieve anything that you want in life. You know, but nothing is ever going to be handed to you. There is no, no free thing anywhere. Um, I thought that this chase was real. I stu still believe that it was, but either it was compromised or just something went really wrong. And I just kind of feel cheated. I feel like I wasted time on videos. I wasted time, probably 5,000 hours of research. I wasted money on trips. And the whole thing was just, just for naught. Yeah, I had some email exchanges back and forth with Forrest, but, but you know, what, you know, so what? I have email exchanges with a lot of people. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.